Hey guys, Johnny here back with another Call of Duty Mobile video. Finally guys, today we have the answer about the controversial bundles versus crates that's been going on for over three weeks in Call of Duty Mobile. Now there was a lot of action on Reddit in the past couple of weeks, a lot of stuff going on in the community, some guys agree or disagree, scam has been the word out there, unfair has been the word out there. Everyone should have the same stuff. Also, it seems to be something people agree on. So guys, a community update was posted 45 minutes ago, Max, and we'll check it out together. We'll finally get to know what is the future of Cod Mobile Shop. Considering the crates and the Lucky Duras and the bundles, what is going to happen next month? Now, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, well, check out my shop, okay? I got all bundles. For cheap, I can get all the contents of one crate while some other guys have to gamble and open tons of crates and hope to get lucky and get what they want. So it is totally unfair that some different players have different prices to get the same items. At least it's not pay to win because that would be crazy, crazy bad. But still, it is unfair and I totally understand why some people are super mad right now because if I had to pay 200 bucks and I see my neighbor get the same stuff for 20 bucks, I would be mad. So I totally understand. Now, we've been waiting for the community update for over a week. And they said next community update, we will answer. So let's check it out right now, guys. What's the answer from Activision? So there's a whole community update. We'll check everything, but we'll start with the bundles and the crates because that's the most important topic. But guys, watch the whole video because we will also talk about the COD Mobile Championship coming very soon and the ongoing event. So let's jump to the bundles test. And yes, like it's been over three weeks. Everyone knew it was a test. Also, some guys didn't agree about like why you test only on one group of players and why you don't test on everyone. So anyways, I mean, not much I can do about it, but still, that's the answer that we had originally. Now they say we want to take a long moment to focus on the store testing that's been going on in April, AKA the bundles. They wanted to compare the spending behaviors and patterns. So of course the goal is to make money because it's a company. But uh, yeah, the test required them to use two different groups of people and compare their behavior, right? Now they still confirm that people were randomly chosen and it had nothing to do with their previous behavior or spending habits. And I can confirm because I was a spender and there was a rumor that maybe they only gave bundles to free to play players, which is not true. But anyways, the results, they say it's almost over. At the end of April, everyone will have the same content and they already know the results, okay? So they say, we are nearing the end of the test. We will be finishing at the end of April and we already know about the results that we can share some details. So starting in May, we will have bundles, crates, and lucky draws all together. So that's what I said on my earlier video today. Uh, and some guys in the comments also, they said, why not have everything? Why not have bundles and crate? And I said, well, probably what they will do is the cool, hot new content will be in lucky draws and stuff. And the trash stuff that we don't really like will be in cheap green bundles. Well, it looks like it's something like that they want to do, guys. And check it out. They say, however, bundles, crates, and lucky draws will all offer different content. Well, of course. There's no reason why why would they put the same stuff in a crate and in a bundle? Of course, everyone will buy the bundle because it's cheaper and you get everything. So what they will do is they will bring out the new stuff in Lucky Draws and crates like they did in the past, like it's been always. And the old stuff that came out in April will be in bundles in May. So that's exactly what they say here, guys. So they say bundles will be available for all players on May 1st and during that month the content they will be offering will only be some that was previously released in April. So the stuff that's being released right now will be in bundles later for everyone. Now guys you let me know in the comments is it bad news is it good news? Well is how I see it guys. First of all everyone will have the same stuff so that is at least fair and second of all well, you have some stuff for everyone's budget. If you want the new stuff right now as it as it is released, you'll have to pay 
to buy crates and lucky draws. If you want to wait in about a month, it's going to be released in bundles for cheaper. Now, do we have the guarantee that everything that comes out will be cheaper later? Well, of course not. I don't have a guarantee and I don't know if Cunmobile will do uh, go ahead and give us a guarantee because what's the like the reasoning? If you tell me I have to wait one month and I'll get it for cheap, I will not buy Lucky Draws. I'll just wait a month. I don't need anything right now. It's just a skin, right? So you bring out a, a new Legendary for $200 and you tell me it's going to be $20 next month? Dude, they will not sell, they will not sell crates, sorry, and they will not sell Lucky Draws. So guys, it's good, but it's not, maybe not what we were expecting. It's not going to be the crates we saw this month in May, okay? Like, it's not going to be how it was earlier this month. So good news, bad news. However, at least we have a response now. At least we know what's coming in the near future. But once again, the goal is for them to make money. So they will do what makes the most sense for them as a business. And yeah, I guess Lucky Draws and Crates is what will make them the most money. But if you guys want to wait and maybe gamble that maybe is going to be cheaper next month, well, you can wait. And we will see, guys. Only the future will tell us for sure what's going to happen. All right, now, talking about the upcoming and ongoing events, well, Tenacity Reward, Weekly Challenges, Shock RC Missions, everything's ending in four days, guys. Uh, a few more days for the gun game team fight and Rapid Fire mode. Coming next week, guys, Call of Duty Mobile update. We've got some new balance changes. You guys probably saw the patch notes earlier today. So we're going to get a lot of stuff being buffed. Preparing for the next season. Also a new battle pass and everything in about a week. So it's going to be a pretty crazy week, guys. Uh, Still Legion battle pass about to end. And we're going to get a brand new season pass. Now next up is the World Championship 2020 starting next week, guys. Next weekend, April 30th. It's going to be the first qualifier. It's four weekends in a row, if I'm um, not mistaken. Uh, you'll have a chance to qualify for the second round. So every weekend, you register in the game. And then your next 10 ranked games will count. You'll get rewards for registering. You'll get rewards for your performance. And you'll get rewards if you qualify for round two. What I understand is going to be a solo round one. And round two is going to be teams. So we'll see, guys. More details on the 28, guys. Make sure you check out the blog and the website. And then a new map, Rust, has been spoiled already. So uh, that was already on the social medias, Facebook, Twitter, and Reddit. So uh, Rust is coming, guys. I know a lot of you guys are excited for... They're supposed to bring us a new map every month for multiplayer. Uh, no new Battle Royale map, though. They said they will keep updating the current map and the rest is again community feedback uh cheaters and stuff like that I am, i'm not gonna go ahead and read all that stuff but then community highlights super cool artwork you guys check out the reddit community post uh cool stuff for now and i again i'll say it again at least at least now we know what's going on and what's going to happen with the bundles and at least everyone will have the same content for the same price. That's what I was hoping. But you cannot have everything. I did not really think that they were going to throw away the crits and the lucky draws and just give everything for 20 bucks. Because, like I said, not selling something for cheaper is going to make them more money. They're not going to sell 10 times as many because still a lot of players will not buy. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a comment below what you think about the new community update. Subscribe to the channel for daily COD Mobile videos. I will see you guys in the next one. Take care. You're the last one. Complete the mission. No trolling? Bruh!